one of the great things about the liver is that it regenerates. So if you cut out somebody, half of someone's liver, it grows back. That's why we can now not only use cadaver livers, but we can, you, you, we can use portions of living donors. Um, it's entirely possible that, that um, and there's work being done in this area, that in the future, a liver transplant will be no more than an injection of a number of cells that will implant somewhere in the body and will grow and form an entire new liver. So this is the whole area of stem cell uh, transplantation. Um, and then I think the last area, um, and this is a fairly controversial area, but I think has great potential. Um, um, and, and the background here is that, as you may be aware, there are many people, particularly with liver disease, many more people that need livers than we currently have livers for. Um, there's a whole area called xenotransplantation, in which the idea is that we would um, take animals, pigs be, are currently the preferred animal, um, and be able to modify them genetically in such a way that a human would not only not reject a pig liver, but that any potential diseases that would be unique to uh, animals would not be able to be contracted by a human. This is a big, a, a big concern right now. That, that you could envision 20 years from now, everyone who needs a liver having access to one because you would walk into, um, and I'm, this is, this is, I'm just imagining, you walk into a facility, you take out a pig, and you use the pig liver for the, for the patient or the pig pan. So I think, I think, um, I think, Technical advances in the in the uh, leading to minimally increasingly minimally invasive surgery, um, uh, new drugs, and ultimately uh, a sufficient understanding of the immune system that no drugs would be necessary. Um, um, the use of cells rather than whole organs, and potentially the use of animal organs. Um, are probably the four areas of the future when it comes to, to solid organ transplant.